ready to go forth and multiply the good news, the good news, what you've learned. So I can see the energy is still strong, and I can't thank you enough. I've been here for these two days, just totally inspired, uh, listening, learning, like all of you, and really appreciate the, the fantastic way that we're, we're moving forward together. And we are one team to do that, and it's not going to be me doing it alone. It's going to be all of us doing it together. Uh, and I saw that today in terms of the teamwork and the ideas that people are coming up with. It is, again, fabulous. I want to underscore again that the work you're doing in your districts, and we're at all kinds of different levels in the 50 districts here today, and in the 100 who express an interest, they're at all kinds of different levels. Uh, we have veteran districts that have been at this positive labor management relationship for years, and others are just getting started. But we can share and build our capacity and be that continuous improving force for change for kids for California. And as you continue that work at the local level, I just wanted to let you know I'm totally committed as your superintendent and uh, through CDE at the state level to support your work in every way we can. Our state team is going to do everything in our power to improve revenues for education. We talked about that. We got to do that. And several people mentioned, Jesus for one, that it's about renewing Prop 30 in some form. But it's going beyond that because you can renew Prop 30 and we're still needing adequacy in terms of funding. So there's a multiple level staged conversation we need to do. But we're going to do it better by the kind of relationships that we build, the mutual respect and trust that we build going forward. And that'll also engender with the public a sense of positive feeling about schools and a positive willingness to invest further whether it's a local parcel tax or local bond measure or a state measure, as we were talking about. We're going to do everything possible to build a con continuous improvement accountability system with multifaceted, not just one or two points of data, more of that dashboard. We're going to need your help doing that as we move forward. And again, we're going to be focusing on systems of support rather than the systems of punishment and looking at capacity building and continuous improvement. I want to have us give it up for and just thank heartily and get a good hand clap going for the districts that were represented here today that are role models helping shine a light on the path forward, the California way forward. And let's, let's talk about them, San Juan, ABC. Let's hear it for them, Moreno Valley. <laughs> Encina, Pomono, Corona Norco. Something I noticed in all of their presentations that I had the pleasure of attending uh, is underscoring communications, dedicated time, and again, relationship building based on trust and respect. And, and again, great role models for us. Uh, Judy White said it very well in her workshop that as we go forward in all these dimensions and all these fronts, always keep in mind, our mind and our heart, that kids are at the center. And that's, uh, I think, a good good admonition, a good direction for us all to, to carry forward. I also want to have us thank the big sponsors again that were here, that uh, you don't often see the leaders of the statewide organization sitting at the same dias, the same you know, conversation, the same set of goals. Uh, but we did have AXA, of course, and CFT, and CTA, and CSBA, and CSEA, and CDE Foundation. So let's hear it up for all, all of their official support. So there are a number of steps, and I'm only going to name a few of them that we need to do from here. Somebody said we need to do more research, and we're going to look at that in terms of the cost of doing business the new way versus the old way, the lawyering up and the contentiousness and the fighting uh, that sometimes occurs. Uh, what, what are the costs avoided when we do it right? And, and there's some good research coming up. Mary Sue said that uh, some papers are going to be coming out very soon. We have a great researcher right here who's already proving the point in terms of how collaboration at the level of the unions, the employees, the administrators, the school board, and teachers results in better outcomes for students. So I really appreciate that. One other bit of research, we thought we could go to UC Davis, get a grant to go and look into their biogenetics department for a cloning project. <laughs> We're trying to figure out a way to, to spread the word even faster 
to from 50 districts to 100 to 1100. So, you know, if you had uh, Ray Gare and Mary Sue and Jesus and Judy White uh, clone, wouldn't things happen faster? And don't forget Chris Steinhauser and a few others. Wouldn't that be cool? But we're going to do it uh, in a different way. We're going to do it person to person, face to face, personally, and get the job done that way. Um, so you know, we know that a full transition to these new best practices, again, with different districts at different stages, will take time. And it may take several years, but we're patient and we're focused. And I can't thank you enough for uh, your professionalism, your you know, look at how to help kids succeed and reach their potential, and your passion for your own profession. A number of people came up to me and said, thank you for focusing on us as professionals. Thank you on focusing on the teaching learning profession and our classified allies, allies all in that same way. Uh, sharing more symposiums, we're definitely looking at more symposiums, so we need more participation from LA. We didn't get the Central Valley participating much here today. Uh, Northern California, far north, so we're gonna look at how to clone, replicate what we've done here to a wider audience and bring in 200 districts that that are moving in the right direction, maybe 300 districts through this effort. There's the new state agency that's been created called the Collaborative. And I heard and saw many things going on here today and yesterday that would lead us to looking at how could the Collaborative, which is made up of five representatives, representing administrators, teachers, the governor, the state board, and myself, uh, we're there to be a helping hand, not, not a hammer, not an enforcement agency so much, but really to be a helping hand. So some of what the very work we're doing here, can we go to them and help get their support for gathering best practices, gathering additional ways we can improve the best practices, and then how can we provide assistance to go into districts who want that help and want that good advice to do it? Uh, I've, I've mentioned the example several times where there's a good PAR program in, in Pomona or ABC, or Long Beach, if, if we see that districts want to get a good PAR program like that, uh, what if we could provide the funds so that Chris Steinhauser could release two or three of their star teachers, program operators, and or Shannon from uh, San Juan, and release them to go help another district and pay for the, the substitute time so they can be freed up to go and do that. Would that be cool as a way to share more directly and personally? We also talked about looking at the 58 county offices. How can we bring them in more to be part of this? And how can they reach out to their respective districts in the 58 counties? So that I thought was another strong I good idea. I think the beauty and the strength of involving the classified employees was shown here uh, through the panels and uh, just everything from the, looking at the teacher shortage and how could we work with our classified on a professional, paraprofessional pipeline to profession of teaching during the upcoming teacher shortage that we're facing. So a number of really creative ideas came out of our discussions. So we'll continue to gather these best practices, find different ways to clone them and replicate them. As I conclude, I just want to ask you and invite you to further think about what are the next steps you'd like to see, what would you like to see in an expanded conference and series of conferences later. And again, I can't uh, thank you enough. I promise to be on your side every step of the way and that we will make it the California way, our California way. You ready to do that? Revved up and ready to do that? Let's do it. Thank you so much. <laughs>